Ooh, they're getting snow in the mountains, oh, huh? Yes, making it with that little dry spell yeah. was a little nerve wracking and yeah. now big yeah, amounts of snow up at the mountains. It's going to be a fantastic holiday to go skiing. The subject of tonight's forecast focus. I'm going to start with a live picture. I love this uh, picture from Schweitzer Mountain. They are skiing, twilight skiing happening right now at Schweitzer and those folks get to ski for free uh, they as they open their twilight tomorrow however it's only twenty dollars to ski for twilight oh then there's me I just wanted to prove that I was at 49 degrees north in the snow this week it was spectacular powder and there is plenty more waiting up there for you I've went ahead and put 48 hour totals on this because uh, well they're a little more impressive because I haven't had any fresh in since uh, this afternoon, but they're getting a little bit of snow tonight. So there'll be a little dusting of snow on top of the powder that is already there. 49 degrees north open seven days a week now through January 9th. Mount Spokane, they've had 13 inches of new snow in the last 48, five in the last 24 hours. They are open seven days a week through January 1st for the holidays. Schweitzer Mountain, that picture was taken today. They've got twilight skiing. And in addition, the Outback Bowl Stella, that is running now. They have had fantastic uh, snow there over the past 24 hours and 48 hours. Lookout Pass, now Lookout Pass tells me they've had 45 inches of snow from this last storm, 17 in the last 48 hours, 10 in the last 24 hours, and finally Silver Mountain, also a big winner with 17 inches of snow in the last 48 one in the last 24 hours. It, conditions have just been amazing. All of those pictures were taken uh, today. So you see for yourself, here's our snow forecast over the next 24 hours. Weak disturbance dropping down from Canada. This is gonna be different snow than what we had this week. Very light, fluffy, dry snow on top of some of that hard pack uh, that many of you've had uh, in North Idaho especially. And snowfall totals not very impressive. Less than an inch in many locations. One to two Bonners Ferry and Sandpoint, two to three in Kellogg, one to two in Lewiston, Further to the south, that is where that winter weather advisory kicks in for Grangeville, Orofino. You could get up to three inches of snow. So this system will keep a chance of snow in our forecast for the next 24 hours, but anything we see in Spokane will be very light and fairly hit and miss. 31 right now in Spokane. It's 31 in Coeur d'Alene. We have some cooler air pushing its way in, and it is going to get quite a bit colder for the weekend. Snow, there are winter weather advisories for the northeast right on through the upper midwest and into the central plains meanwhile flooding concerns for the tennessee river and mississippi river valley uh, quite a contrast in temperatures here 13 in minot 24 in minneapolis for a high today it was 65 in oklahoma city 57 degrees in nashville only 57 in phoenix my goodness your seven day forecast slight chance of snow tomorrow cold for the weekend not as cold as originally forecast those numbers have been increasing a little bit each day and the snow has been moving around a little bit too our computer models have been a mess with this storm coming in sunday into monday but um i will say that any snow that we receive will be quite a bit less than the system that came in over uh earlier this week and will be that lighter snow Okay, we can use a little more light snow to make oh, our yes. Christmas in town a little wider. Why yes. not? 